so now in this video we will start working right on there press even ok right in here right down below the square button ok so first we will simply go right at the top and create an instance to the firebase ok so in here we will say final firebase auth we are going to name this as a auth and it's going to be private ok so let's go and create that instance firebase auth load install ok so now we will use that ok let's go down and right in here in the press first we will say try ok and write in the try now we will say avid then we are going to have that out ok and with the firebase instance is there ok let me show that firebase auth instance right in auth ok so now in here right after we will simply say dot send password reset email that first one ok and right after in here there will gonna be the email text controller dot text ok as you guys can see in here and let it end there will be semicolon so it will basically send the reset email ok whenever the user enter in here their email in order to if they forget their password and then right after if the user press on this send link it will send them the reset email ok for the password so let's go further now right after this we will show some kind of message ok whenever the user like I said if he or she click on this send link button ok so we will show them the message right down in here ok it will be something like password reset email has been sent ok so let's go and do that so for that we will simply say scaffold messenger ok dot of contacts and then we will show snack bar it's going to be a snack bar ok right down in here as I told you and right after in here there will be capital S ok and right after in here comma and then semicolon as you guys can see ok take this down like this and now right in here in the snack bar we will first set the background color ok the background color we will go with a colors dot amber ok amber is fine right in here and right after let's set the content and content there will be text that we are about to show ok so in here we will say password reset email has been sent ok so that's fine right in here now let's do some styling for it ok so we will make the text a little bit bigger ok so in here is the style as usual text style and text style let's set the font size to 18.0 all good ok now there will be any kind of error if they catch it so right down in here we will say on firebase ok or exception if it catch ok there will be the error here we are passing and uh, in here now with the help of plotter toast we will show that message ok from firebase so we will say flutter toast here we go show toast and the message will be that error message ok to two string convert it to string and then semicolon all good now in here add this const modifier ok so the yellow line will be gone ok 
now right after whenever this process will be done then right after directly you will send the user to the login screen ok like whenever the user will press in here on this button right after we will send him to the login screen so for that we will simply copy that navigator from here copy it ok like this and right down in here press it ok so we will send him to the login screen ok and I also want to show our text button right down in here between this send link and this login already have an account right in the mid ok you guys will see now we will create for the sign up ok in order if the user didn't have an account so he can simply click in here for the sign up ok so or you can say create account so let's go and do that and we will do that right in here so we will say text button ok you will add it one by one let's remove it for now and right after first you will set the on press ok now right in there we will set the navigator ok and here copy that and in here paste it ok and in here we will set this to sign up screen there you go ok and now in here we will set the child and child will be that text ok that we are about to show so it's gonna be create account ok add the const modifier ok so let's go and press control s ok as you guys can see in here the create account ok let me show you that as you guys can see in here create account now we will set it right in the center so for that what we will do we will simply select this text ok and we will wrap it with a center widget and in here add const modifier now control s and it will be right in the center as you guys can see in here ok so whenever the user click in here create account it will send them to the create account sign up ok right in here as you guys can see let's go back to the forget password now we will check that ok but first I'll go and sign up a new ID ok with the original email so now we will register a new account ok by my original email ok so later on we will open my my mail and uh, there will be a reset link ok so first in here we will make a account for it ok in your case you guys can use your own original email ok so let's go and do that first we will upload the profile I'll go with Iron Man it's fine in here as you guys can see ok now I will name this as a share ok and now I will use my original email ok share3654 at the gmail.com ok now I am entering password 27 as you guys can see and right after I will enter the phone number ok it's fine ok all is good now let's go and click on this create account ok now we will go towards the home screen as you guys can see ok 
is totally black. As I told you before, there is nothing in the home screen. And in the upcoming videos, we will work on that. So it's working totally fine. Now we will go back to the Firebase and check there if the account is registered or not. The share one, okay? So open the Google Chrome or any other browser and search for Firebase Console. As you guys can see, okay, search for it. Open that. Get started. And we have already connected our app. Okay, back to the Firebase. As you guys can see. Now, first we will go towards the authentication and we will check it there. There we go. It's working totally fine. Okay, as you guys can see, the original email. That one. Share three six five four at their gmail dot com. Okay, everything is fine. Now we will go towards the Firebase, Firestore database. Okay, that one. And here we will check the data for the share. As you guys can see, there is a Peter. There is a share. Okay. Share share three six five four at their gmail dot com and everything is right in here okay now we will towards go to the storage and here we will check the profile picture now okay user images and here that third one there we go okay as you guys can see it's working fine now we will simply open a new tape and in here search for gmail okay gmail login sign in your account okay so this is my inbox now we will go back to the android studio okay now in here we are on the home screen okay we will run the app again then mando dot there we go with the login screen let's go to the forget password and in here if you guys remember I gave the password to my shear3654 at the red gmail dot com to that account from 1 to 7 ok remember that so now in here let's say I forgot my password and I don't know what it is ok so in here I'll write my gmail ok share 3654 write in the forget password at the rate gmail dot com ok all good and in here now I will click on this send link and they will send us the reset link to my mail ok to this share 3654 at the rate gmail dot com and there will be also a snake bar ok as you guys will see now so let's go and click on this send link as you guys can see password reset email has been sent and now we are in the login page ok so now we will go back to the email ok and see if there is a reset password or not the link let's go and check that so in here there is nothing first we will reload the page ok in here as you guys can see reload this page and in case if you guys didn't see your reset password link so now what we will do we will simply go towards in here more as you guys can see and in here scroll down and in here as you guys can see that spam ok in here as you guys can see our reset password link right in here that first one ok the time is 2 31 pm that first one ok so click in here on your no reply and click on this not spam it will send back to the inbox ok as you guys can see it's gone ok to the inbox and that one is the older one okay I was just checking for testing purposes okay 
so now let's go to the inbox as you guys can see on the inbox there is a one okay so click on the inbox and there we go reset your password for project okay no reply as you guys can see let's open that in here as you guys can see in here follow this link to reset your project okay password for your account share 3654 at the gmail.com okay so in here we will simply reset our password so click on this link okay it will send us to the password reset as you guys can see so I will give the new password right in here I will simply give my password as a iron man okay let me show it to you iron man okay and my older password was from 127 and now the new password is iron man okay just save it okay you can now sign in with your new password so now we will go back to the android studio and check it okay with the new password now right in here we will simply log in now in here just for testing purposes I will use my old password okay as you guys remember it was from 127 okay so let's check the old password for now to see if it's work or not the old password okay as you guys can see the password is invalid okay so because we changed the password to the iron man okay so now we will use my new password and it was iron man okay iron man let us go and check that if it's login or not there we go it's working totally fine and now we are on the home screen okay and the home screen is totally empty okay let me show you that first let me close that folder for the images and then wait for the forget password this one also right now we will go to home screen in here open that home screen dot dot in here as you guys can see there is nothing just empty container okay so that's why right on the home screen in here there is a black screen and there is nothing so right in the next video we will start working right on the home screen okay for now we will close that info dot dot and forgot password dot dot okay now we will run the man dot dot again so all the working of a forget password is done and it's working totally fine okay also they send us the reset link password as I show you before right on my mail okay now we will go back towards the login and right in the next studio we will simply start working on the home screen that's it for this video right in the next video we will work further